my comp starts at one hour because if I was to create an expression that didn't do that, it starts at zero, right? And we have a bunch of these and they are sequenced. Let's just assume you saw when the first, the second layer, the third layer, the fourth and the fifth layer were starting their animation, but you don't want to see that popping up. You know, you want them to always be doing that. Usually what you do is either in the timeline when all of the layers have started, that's where you start your um, scene. But then that also means that your video, if you were to export this out as is, your video or your composition starts 48, or in my example, it starts 48 frames into the timeline. But the video you export starts at zero frames at the timeline. So if this was a client project or a team project where somebody else is giving you feedback, or maybe you are watching the video back and say, oh, at one minute and five frames, there is something wrong in my animation. Let me go back into After Effects and fix that. But now you have to keep into a, a keep in account that the one minute five frames doesn't match one minute and five frames in After Effects. You have to calculate this difference in um, when you started your work area. Then you might think, okay, that's, that's annoying. I don't want that. I want my video and my comp to start at zero. Okay, let's push these back so that the very last one is the one that's hitting zero. Okay, that's cool. Now you have another problem. You have keyframes that go into nothingness when you cannot click them, right? I cannot access the keyframes that are passed here somewhere in the background. Except some template comps, I start all of my compositions at one hour so I don't have this issue. So that if I have sequenced and overlapping frames, I can push them back, I can still see their properties and I can access all of the keyframes, but my comp still starts at a kind of zero point, even though it's at one hour, but my animations are never going to be an hour long. So factoring the, that one hour into my time code is not going to be an issue. And actually I'm not technically starting at one hour. I mean, I am, but what I do is I set up my start time code to 59 minutes and I have my composition one minute plus long. So one minute to arrive at one hour and then however long I want my composition to be. So I actually only have one minute leeway, not one hour leeway, one minute leeway before I start the the actual scene. So that's the, that's the start time code that I'm amending here. So just so you know, because if I did have everything at zero and I just started this at one hour, then yeah, you have like an hour worth of timeline before you actually start animating and that can get super, super long. So um, that's why I amend the start time code and the, the duration before my scene starts is actually only one minute. So there you have it. That's the explanation of why I start my compositions at one hour instead of at zero.